So let me tell you the first test that we did. It was around 2008. It was the first test that we wanted not to intercept the target or the rocket. We want to see what will be the distance between both objects in the hell. I mean the distance between the missile, Rafael missile or Iron Dome missile and the rocket. So we did everything in order to build it, the test, and to go uh, to the desert. It's uh, in uh, Mitzper Amon, not far away. We have a spatial area, and we go to this area. But before we went to, uh, to the desert, I asked the, the engineers, you know, we had about 300 engineers in this stage, and ask him, you know, what is your prediction? What will be the distance? So the first group said about one kilometers. One kilometers, you know, it's totally destroyed. You know, in one kilometer, we can go home. So that was the, 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 the this group, we call them, you know, the anti-Semitics. <laughs> <laughs> the second group said, you know, it will be 100 meter. So, ah, 100 meter, it's the BDS. And the people who said less than one meter, the, and less than 10 meters, is of course, you know, the Zionists, they are the best guy, and uh, <laughs> it will be okay. And that was you also? Uh, I thought that it will be around five meters. Okay. <laughs> You know, it was, I, I did every night a sit with a few of my colleagues, we tried to do simulation, and it looked like it's probably it can be okay. But what, what what's the difference here? So you're shooting a, a normal, a fake Kassam rocket, and then you're shooting, what, an already made uh, Iron Dome Prototype. rocket? Prototype. Prototype, it's, but the but it does it, but you're not controlling it or what? No, the no, difference? we control everything. You Since you it's need the first a control, test. but it wasn't with an explosive or warhead or something like this. It was only to see where what will be the game. Ah, but it was the first test you would ever. It was yeah. the first step, uh, the first test. Ah, that okay. we had. So they didn't dream to expect it to actually of course, to hit. No, okay. of course let's not. Let's be realistic. So okay. That's why we didn't put any explosive, not in the target, not okay. in the Iron Dome. So you have to see now the picture. We see it. It's like you know, like it NASA. A lots of computers in in a bunker in the in the desert. And uh, one guy, you know, he's the uh, the head of this test. He start to count five, four, three, two, one. Push the button. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> no missile, nothing at them. Oh no. So we push again, nothing happened, you know. I was almost with an art detect, not only me, I saw my guys, you know. We understood that <coughs> that probably we failed. So we have another missile. We decided in two hours that let's try the second missile. We put it on the launcher. Three, two, one. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fake Kassam. It's it's not a fake. It's a Kassam. The Kassam, Kassam rocket, Kassam. whatever. Yes, of course. The and dev. and the intercept. Yeah, the but intercept. when you press the button, when, it when sets the rocket it's off. Only, it's only launch the uh, our missile. First of all, you have to launch launch the uh, the Kassam or the Katyusha, and then when the uh, radar detect the system of course you have to launch now the missile and ah, but it doesn't automatically launch you have to press the button in this test it was okay you press no the button. actually when you press it's not for uh a launch the rockets it's give the computer you know the permission to launch ah, the rocket okay. exactly on the second uh, you know that you need i see okay so, so then you, what happens? so you pressed in the second one nothing happens nothing so, you know, I told myself that if I was a Japanese, <laughs> I could take, you know, so like a Harakiri. So we decided to go back home. 
And I told my uh, one of my friends, you know, you have to drive. I'm not so sure that I qualified now to drive back. After two weeks, I thought that it's going to be now between six months up to 12 months to find the, the problem. So two weeks later, one of my colleagues, Israel, is uh, the engineer, uh, electronic engineer. He came to my office nine o'clock in the evening. That was the hours that we work, you know. And he said, you know, I think I found the problem. So what's the problem? He said, on the launcher, you know, in order for safety, you have to, uh, you have to connect a cable before the launch. So that was it. But he said, they connect the plus to minus and the minus plus, you know. And <laughs> of course, it cannot work. We no. have a joke in Israel, the redhead, the gingerhead with the keys, he's the responsible. Exactly, yes. <laughs> So, so it's that simple. And it happened, it's happened twice, not only one. In two tests, they connect the same connection. Wow. <clears throat> so. Tell me that that guy was fired. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know, it can be. He was put on the next rocket. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, you know, we, we feel that we weren't so good in this one. You know, if, if you develop something that you can mistake, of course, it's the problem of us and not of the guy. Mm. Okay, so then what happened? Yes. And then he said, I said, okay, let's do a test. On Friday, a little bit evening, nobody was in the area. We went to the launcher, me and five of, our, of my engineer, and we said, let's now connect it, okay. Don't forget, we have a live missile inside, so <laughs> we can, if, if we have any mistake, you know, we can launch in the middle of a lot of cities the the the, ro the missile, <laughs> but we wanted to see if it's okay. If we connect plus minus like this one, uh, if we can get a fail, and if we connect the other one, we can get that it's okay. And we found that that the system that the problem. So. On Sunday, I went to the uh, to the president of Rafael. I said, "We solved the problem." He said, "No way, you know. You know, we have to establish about fifteen committees. You know, that's uh, <laughs> it. can take about a few years. You know." <laughs> I said. He said, "Are you sure?" I said, "Yes, sure, 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 yes." And then I saw that he didn't believe me. I said, "Okay." Now I write my resignation on a paper. If it will not be this uh, uh, this problem, you can throw me away from Raphael if you want. Wow. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. And they, they said, okay, go ahead. Two weeks later, we come to the, Z to the desert. First of all, we launch the target. It was a Katyusha. And then... We have to see what's happened when you push the button. So another problem was that when the computer uh, called the, 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 uh, the times, it was five, three, one, zero. <laughs> I don't know what's happened inside. And then we saw on the, on the screen, we saw a lot of fire, you know, and we saw that the missile jumped to the... And your heart so, at this point? No, it's, don't forget that the, uh, the, the test come to test what is uh, the mission was, what is the gap between mm -hmm. the yeah. rocket. Oh, but of course, you know, I said 50%, 50 which I uh, promised to my president, he, he actually, you can see in the picture, every time he sit near me, he said, okay, what should... You know, we have now a few seconds. He said, what should I have to do with your paper just to write it, you know, <laughs> the organization? I said, yes. And then, you know, now we have a few seconds that it's come like this one. And one more story before I start. <laughs> <laughs> one more cliffhanger. Yes, okay. Yes. A night before we uh, went to the desert, come to my office a guy. His name is Sergei. 
Sergei just, you know, we sent him to, uh, to finish his PhD in Berkeley. And uh, I met him when I was in the United States in Berkeley. He came and said, let's do something on the computer. It will take two hours. Uh, it was 11 o'clock up to one o'clock. It's not a problem in the, in the midnight. No, not in the moon. So he showed me everything and he said, the wrench, the gap will be 20 centimeters less than one feet. And when I saw the old calculation, I said, it makes sense. But I told Sergei, don't speak with anyone. Don't give them any idea that it's going to be okay. I don't know. And keep it in secret. And then I'm going back now to the door, both sub object in the head. And in one second, you saw they just scratch each other. You know, it was almost, we call it iron in iron. Yeah. So it was so good. And I was, you know, I sit like this, you know, they, they took pictures uh, and they uh, took fi film and uh, video. And you can see me like this. <laughs> I don't know what to do. And then my president sit near me and he, okay, what's happened? What's happened? I said, so he gave me, you know, a knock with the, his feet in my head, in my foot, like this. And what happened? <laughs> I said, we succeed and we have a project. That's the first time that I knew that we have a good project. 